It's a wrap. This is Bama Q. I'm Lisa Blackwell. The past couple seasons, we've been shooting steak competitions, but today, we're going back to barbecue. What's up, and Lisa? What's going Chester, on? How you been? What's going on? What y'all doing? Chester, you're interrupting my shot. Oh, you're doing a shot? You're doing it again. Hey, we, we got the cameras out today? We filming? <laughs> yes, we are. An actual barbecue we're, contest? We're actually here. Look, yeah. I know that we've been doing steak competitions, yeah. and actually, yeah. we've shot you at a yeah, couple not steak Yeah, I've not been too good at steak. So, <laughs> I think I'm better at barbecue. We'll see what happens. Well, we're back to barbecue, so how much have you been cooking barbecue lately? Uh, just at home for the family, and no competition since COVID, really. Just been doing oh, a lot of... So, you're just jumping back yeah, into just, it? Yeah, just like riding a bike. Well, okay. why not? Why not jump into the biggest contest in the South, right? <laughs> why we're not? We're going to do one. Why Let's not? do one, right? Yeah, because, you know, we've got more than 100 teams here competing against Chester today. Not concerned. For seventy-five thousand dollars in cash and prizes. That's a lot of money. Yeah. So, Chester, who do you think is going to win? What kind of question is that? <laughs> you know, I'm, I think I'm going to win, right? No, if you're not, if you don't think you're going to win, you shouldn't be here, right? You got to have all confidence. I got right? confidence, but we'll see what happens. That's right. Well, you know what? Stay tuned, cause it's it's barbecue time. time. <laughs> I'm here with Suzanne, and <laughs> she won the dessert category last night. Suzanne, mm -hmm. what did you make? I made a luscious cheesecakey like pie mm -hmm. that had caramel and coconut on top, and it was mm, mm. it was so irresistible. And I understand <laughs> that when I asked if I could try it or see it, there's none left. None left. <laughs> I know it all got eaten. That's a good sign of an award-winning dessert, right? Yes. What'd you win for dessert? We've got a golden ticket. And what a it really is. cute and awesome trophy. trophy. Look at that. Is that cute or what? I love, I love it. it. Yes. It's well, just like me, sweet as a cupcake. It is. <laughs> congratulations. Thank Susie. you very much. Oh, let's, let's, let's. Uh, blow it up. That's it. it. <laughs> I just pulled my chicken off the grill and I'm saucing it to go ahead and get it semi done for the judging. I'm working on a new seasoning so I'm trying to test it out right now to see how it'll do in barbecue. It's got more of a heat to it. It'll be more well balanced because I know there's a lot of sweet in some rubs. I do both barbecue and steak and I like both of them are pretty fun but steak's just like what I started with so it's kind of more natural. Chicken has been like the most challenging thing I've ever had to do in barbecue because I'm never able to like actually nail the chicken and get it cooked right or anything like my chicken today was done like almost an hour early so I had to like throw it back on the smoker and just hope I got it like warmed up enough and that it's not overcooked because you have to have it like that perfect kind of doneness and that bite through skin so it's a little nerve-wracking at times. I'm doing backyard, so I'm just doing the two meats, so just ribs and chicken. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Ross. Hey, Lisa. How you doing today? Doing good. How you doing? Good we're to see doing you. Doing really good. Good to see you. Last time it was steak when I saw you. Yes. Yeah. But we're back to barbecue today. Back to barbecue. And glad to see y'all out here. Getting back in the swing of things. Yeah, yeah. Hey, a, I'm liking this. Uh, this is interesting here. Yeah. Gotta... I cook everything on my hasty bake. When I wrap everything in foil, I'll put it on this one. And right now, you're working on chicken. Yes. Right? Are you sticking with tried and true, or are you doing a little something different? I Everything I've done today is completely different. I've, <laughs> I've not had that much luck here lately. So I've, I've, I'm cooking a brand of ribs I've never cooked, a brand of chicken I've never cooked, all new recipe, new rubs, new seasoning, new sauce. Just going for it, right? Might all well. new. Just big, okay. Biggest comp I'll go to all year, and I'm going to start from scratch and ch <laughs> change everything. But I like living on the edge like that. That's going to be a good eating one right there, Lisa. <laughs> That's definitely a big one of beautiful trophies. Oh gosh, Definitely yes. worth it if you can walk for something. The trophies are just amazing up there and everybody's talking about them. Like, did I see them and all that? And I, yeah, but I didn't make eye contact. 
I didn't, I didn't want to make eye contact with those big trophies. Well, do you think that's bad luck, or what are you thinking about that? <laughs> I'm thinking I don't want to look at it until it's in my hands on that stage. Gotcha, right, okay. Otherwise, I'll just get my feelings hurt. <laughs> Good luck to you. Thank y'all so yeah, much. They're looking good so Come far. Come back in a little while and, and we'll have some samples for you. Oh, sounds great. I'm in. <laughs> Bye, Lisa. Bye. This is our first time back to barbecue in a while. It have is. Have you been cooking barbecue? We actually lately? cooked uh, We cooked in Gadsden. You know, I've got out and cooked steak a little bit, but um, you know, it's good to be back out and um, you know, and, and what a great contest to come to this weekend, right? Beautiful weather. Absolutely. Can ask for better. No, it's, it's been great. The people here is, you know, everything is, is next level at this contest. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about your barbecue? We are. Well, I mean, you know, it's it's been pretty quiet in the trailer, so <laughs> nothing's, nothing's got flipped out of here on the ground. But, you know, Laddie's pretty low key. He doesn't. Uh, you know, he's really good at shifting gears on stuff. So Wait, speaking of Laddie, right. didn't we mic him up? <laughs> yeah, he's... Where is he? Uh, Laddie, where are you? Hey, Miss Lisa, how are you doing? You're getting about ready to buy? Yes, ma'am. You did thighs. Why'd you do thighs? I don't like legs. I don't like them, so I just... <laughs> you like but them I really thighs. like so, the thighs. So, hey, you know what? You do what you like, absolutely. See, I got the turning shakes already. They look beautiful. Picture perfect, really. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Spicy but not too spicy. I'm using brand new chicken this time. I've never used this brand before, so I'm going with um, fully organic chickens now. Mm -hmm. I like organic chicken. I think it tastes a little different just using it at home. So I decided to try to put on my thighs this time and see how it goes. I mean, why wouldn't you change everything up in a contest like this, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. It's only the biggest one of the year. <laughs> Let's change up everything over there. So, hey, why not? Swing for the fence and see how it, see how it works out. We're here with Lex and Robert, and oh my goodness, just in time because they're pulling the ribs out. Yeah, so we've changed up our process a little bit. Okay. It's something different that we weren't doing before. Sure. We've been watching barbecue week videos, so. Right, everybody's <laughs> been watching barbecue, trying yeah, to figure true. out what they can do differently. Yes. Yeah. Now we're doing back to barbecue, because mm -hmm. you know, some people have been cooking, but you guys have kind of kept going with barbecue, right? Even with the pandemic yeah. and everything. Yeah, we did less than 25 last year, and then we did, I think, 20 in 2020. Wow. So one of the things we changed from last year is we moved our timeline to the right, so that way our ribs are a lot hot, hotter. Well, this is a uh, this is one of the racks I really like. So, oh, this is that little skinny fat yeah, rack, right? That's a good mm -hmm. one. Let me see what we got. It's not as good as number two, but it's better than number one. Mm -hmm. Now, when your taste buds are not exactly in agreement, what do you do to break that, sir? How do we you We trust me. <laughs> yeah, usually on ribs, I'll trust her because I've been out in the smoke more more of the day than she has. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is delicious, and the doggies are waiting right here yeah, I know. for anything that drips. Yeah, mm. I'm surprised Stout's not barking at us. All right, last rack. What do you think about all the competition here? You got a bunch of different people. I know, you I got know. from all it. over. You've got a team from New Jersey right here. Yeah, you yeah, got number one in the, the country US. here, number three in the country. They're oh. about the same. They're almost the same. Yeah, maybe these on top. Yeah, let's do those. They look prettier anyway. All right, let me go get the box. Well, it certainly looks pretty. And you gotta get your picture. I do. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right, you guys. Good luck. Back Thank you. Hey, hey. Hey, Lisa. What's up? Hi. Wow. Hey, it's 
Mark. Hey, yeah. Hey, Mark. You know, you're usually behind uh, the camera, but today right. you're right. in front of the camera. Yeah. So looks like you're taking tryouts for a new team member here, huh? <laughs> Out of uh, 20,000 applicants, uh, <laughs> Mark was yeah. number one. So. Well, you must be pretty talented. Though. He is. Yeah. Wow. I guess so. We'll find yeah. out. I love cooking. I, television was my first love. Cooking is my second love. So why not marry the both of them? Why not? Yep. So how much have you been cooking barbecue lately? Um, this is my first contest in here. Oh, wow. I'm not even sure if I know what I'm doing anymore. It's been so long. <laughs> oh, you know what you're doing. I'm watching, I'm watching the maestro here do it. I'm just trying to make it look pretty, and hopefully they will love it. And we'll walk away $15,000. Mm -hmm. That's right. So my kid is going to college, so I, I, really, I really need it. I need, I need this to pull through. So 15000 no, and a beautiful trophy. Right, and a beautiful trophy. All right, it's got a little finishing dust on there. Yeah. There's a lot of teams, so it's going to be it's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. So when you come and you cook professional barbecue, you have people that come from everywhere, and especially a contest like this that has you know it's a great contest, it's a big payout. Big draw. Um, there's no other contest like this mm -hmm. that I've been to, and probably not in the country. I mean, it's a seventy-five thousand dollar payout. It's too late to make any changes if I wanted to, so I'm going <laughs> to roll with it. Well, I'm going to walk at the turn ins. Good luck. All right, thanks. All right, brisket time, brisket time. I still leave my brisket attached. I'm gonna separate the point of the flat this knife. Hey! Lisa! <laughs> Chester! <laughs> what are you doing at my brisket turn in? What's hey, going right. on? You popped into my she open scrap. Scared the crap out of me. She almost cut my arm off. <laughs> <laughs> I can shave with this knife trying to <laughs> cut my arm off there. We're going to have to call an ambulance. So what's going on, Lisa? How's the day, man? It's been going great. Has it? Yeah, I've tasted some good stuff. Yeah. 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 And I can't wait to taste brisket. I think I better be prepared here. This is a really juicy looking brisket. So this brisket's right. kind of thin. It's kind of concerning you, me right now. Um, the, the flat's not as thick as I normally like it. So probably going to have to cut it on a little bit of a bias, okay. which means at an angle mm -hmm. to get me a little thicker slice. And you know, I'm getting older and unfortunately <laughs> we got to go to stinking glasses. rain glasses. Are you kidding me? Gosh, I'm getting old. So. It's been a long time since I cut a brisket like this. Oh yeah, these are good right here. Look, see how much better these are? Yes. Yeah. Flavors there, tenderness. That end piece is a little over, a little dry, but oh, of course it is. when we get closer to the middle, we're gonna be okay. So the window is about to open. We're gonna cascade. Okay. We're gonna lay them in here and then we can re re reposition them. Uh, let's go yeah. ahead and brush it. I want to get a little taste test while we're doing this. A little as you see it glistens. How, can you tell me how warm that is? Oh, it's pretty hot. Is it Be, salty? Yes, yeah, very salty. Uh-oh. Oh, Chester. Very salty. Well, let's put some water in this. You think the brisket's too dry? You can cut the other one? Wait, you can go cut the other brisket? Oh, my oh, God. I got surprises everywhere. Chester! <laughs> Whoa. You ever seen this happen before? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh -oh. things, things happen from time to time. <laughs> If I cut this and it's like holy moly, then we're going to pull all that out and start over. So what are we doing, Chester? Pull that out. That's very juicy looking. Pull it out. Mm -hmm. Anything else? It looks juicy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the tightness. All right, put it uh -oh. back in there. Not good for tightness. Let's go. Okay. We've got five minutes. All right. That was going back in. This is fun, isn't it? Y'all haven't fun yet. <laughs> Y'all thought the jack was fun. And this is real. This is not made up. This is what's happening I mean, on the fly. I, there's know? more moisture in this, but it's a little tighter. So okay. just put some au on. I'm going to turn into the window. Oh, this stupid brisket is going to cost us a grand. <laughs> every piece of meat you cook is never going to be the same. Every You put the same amount of seasoning on it, it still turns out different every time. And it, you try to be a consistent as you can. I ain't done this in two years. You know, you get a little heavy hand with the seasoning, or you put a little too much injection in the brisket, or you cook it a little over, or you, but you gotta cook all four, and you gotta cook all four good. And if you miss on one a little bit and it's still in the middle, of them, but you do good on the other three, you still win the contest. So let's clean the sides and let's go. All right, we gotta go. 
I'm gonna be late. Go, 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 go. Okay. Woo, Good luck, fire. Chester. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Good luck to each and every one of y'all. All right, so who's ready to win some money and some trophies now? That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Backyard chicken. Third place, Ben Blue Swine. Second place, Two Swine Crew. First place, Bentley Q. Okay, on the backyard ribs. Third place, Smokestack Lightning. Second place, Simply Smoked. First place, Backyard Ribs. Red Bone. Okay, on to our backyard championship. Third place, Red Bones. Second place, Reserve Grand Champion, Bama Boys Barbecue. Our first place winner, No Looking Cooking. Okay, congratulations to our backyard winners. Okay, on to our Pro Division Master Series. Third place, Papa Pig. Second place with a score of 180, Bearded Monkeys Twisted Q. First place with a score of 180, Hold Your Horses Barbecue. Congratulations to the chicken winners. On to the pork ribs. Third place, sheet smoked meats. Second place, Kith and Kin. First place, Master Division, pork ribs. Uncle Pig's barbecue pit. On to our pork category. Third place, Bubba Grills. Second place, Badass Mule BBQ. Hey, 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 hey. First place, pork category, Master Series, Atlanta Barbecue Store. <laughs> okay, on to our brisket category. Third place, Papa Pig. Second place, brisket goes to Get Basted. First place, brisket category, good googly goo. Okay, on to the overall results. Third place, smoking ain't easy BBQ. Second place, reserve grand champion, Puzza Q22. Uncle Pig's barbecue pit. Our grand champion for Pusa Q22, Bearded Monkeys Twisted Q. Well, I'm here with Russ, and Russ, you did really well today. You got first in ribs and third place in backyard yes. overall. Oh man, y'all, you, you've seen the trophies and it's just crazy. And I mean, they've got them bigger than that, but I'll take it and I love these things. I'll take what I, what I can get, but yeah. It's been a good good day, good cook. Uh, Wind Creek Casino here in Montgomery, they've just treated us fantastic. Rolled out the red carpet and we haven't wanted for a thing. Yes, yeah. Well, Russ, congratulations. Thank That's you, really Lisa. Awesome. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely.
Okay, so let's see here. We've got fourth place of pork. We got fourth place in chicken and fifth place overall. How awesome is that? Yes. That's great. Yeah, yeah, we're excited. With these field of cooks, there's a lot of great cooks in here. Absolutely. Uh, many in the top five, top 10 in the country. Some top cooks down from Florida. They want it, so uh, congratulations to them. And hopefully it'll just be all up from here, right? Oh, we hope yeah. so. That'd be yeah. great. Well, congratulations, you guys. Thank all you. Right. Yeah. Good seeing you. Good seeing yeah. you. I'm here with Dave and Paola of Bearded Monkeys Twisted Q, and you guys won the grand champion here at Pusa Q. How excited are you? You can't even put it into words. This being our very first one ever, this takes the cake. Did you even think for a second while you were cooking that this was possible? No, because we, we had a little better cook than we did last week, and we thought our chicken and ribs were kind of eh, but we thought our pork and rib brisket was pretty good. Yeah. But what do I know? I'm not a judge, so you know, we just did the best we could, turning, you know, four good lids and, and here we are. How awesome is it? And let me ask you something else. How are you gonna get this home? I'll no, find no, a way. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. This Thank is you. awesome. Thank yeah. You. That's a wrap on Pusa Q. We hope you enjoyed going back to barbecue. Congratulations to all the winners, and we'll see you next time on BamaQ. It's a wrap, Lisa. <laughs> it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's, it's over. A wrap. Thanks, y'all. Brad, <laughs> Brad, thanks for helping me, Brad. Did you know I was coming? No. Sweet. But I saw you up there. <laughs> I know, but you thought I was just hanging out. What's he doing? <laughs> I love it. Thank <laughs> you.